I'm oh, sorry to hear about you and Brooks. Oh, we're just taking time out. It's just been so maybe not permanent. Don't you dare make shit up about my Don't husband. Don't up about me. You I didn't make shit up. It's on you, a recording. I'm not talking about the recording. There's a lot of other things you've made up about me. What are you talking about? I haven't made up shit. You have? You like have. what? Give me one example of what I made up about you. Okay. You talk I'm about little... your size to me? Let's talk about that. I'm Said sorry. your nickname was Girth Brooks. I did not. Not interested. Not sorry. true. That's not me. true. Not Rihanna, interested. I'm the most confused. You did say it to me. In love wow. dating person I've ever met. We're in a holding zone. Yeah. Are we going to go wow. forward or are we going to end it? Does he love me? Does he not love me? Are we dating? We're not dating. I don't know what's going on. So I just want this man out of my life. I'm not going to cut you out of my life, and I'm sure the heck you're not going to cut Brianna out of my life. I think you've kind of been hard and opinionated on Brooks. I think it was a little bit was unjustified. And no, I don't think so. Right. It's not okay. just an opinion like, I, I don't like the way he dresses. It's very specific concerns. I, know. I, know. I don't like how he interacts with me. I don't like how he talks about my mom behind her back. He's just got poor character. There's these two clearly prostitute dress girls. Really? Look this is me, a lie, by says, the way. Oh, of course he lied. Of course it. my husband lied about you. He, 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 he lied at the finale. Of course he Staring lied. Mm, you're mm. kidding me. As long as I'm paying rent here, and as long as my son is here, I don't want Brooks in this house. The stuff that's in your life with Brianna is tearing us apart. Oh, it's Brianna's fault. Didn't say it was. You just said the stuff in your life with Brianna is tearing us apart. Because I caught you doing some shit and I called you out, and you are embarrassed. But parameters are when I can see you. I miss him, and so we're gonna continue dating. We're gonna go back to dating, and I love him, and that's where I'm at. If you wanna have him come here, like, that's totally cool. I'm just not gonna live here. I don't wanna play this game right now. It's so stupid, it's hurting everybody. So we're all here. Um, Lydia, Sorry. we lost you for a second. What happened? I don't know, I just felt like, I feel bad for them, I feel bad for her. It's just a lot, mm -hmm. and I just, I felt like it got, too intense. I'm not used to being around so much of this. Is there any resolution to be had? Your mom loves this guy. You don't get along with him. What? There's no resolution. Where do you go? Vicky you needs go to listen. This? Vicky needs to listen to the tape. Vicky has to hear the tape so that she can assess what the tape says for herself. But he agreed. He said it. He agreed. She doesn't need to listen. I mean, He's saying he said it different than what Brianna's saying. Oh. So there's a lot more that I can't even say. There's a lot more. I I have a list in my wallet actually of things that you've done personally to our family. Wow. Vicky, are you afraid if that's, you that's are you afraid that if you listen to it, then you will have to be done with him forever? Is that why you won't listen? Um, <clears throat> the reality is, I have encouraged when there was this tape out, Vicky, to listen to it. It's not my prerogative to force it down her, and I can't go to the home, and I haven't seen Brianna, and I haven't seen Ryan. And part of the deal with them moving into the home was not just me not going there, was for them to respect her and her wishes with her life, and they continue to badger that publicly and privately. So it's very difficult on, on Vicky. She shouldn't choose. She shouldn't I don't choose. stand for abuse. I'm sorry if that you well, see that as either. badgering. I but don't I don't either. stand for anything I will less never than be perfect. Let's just say good. I just want a good relationship with my mom. Someone who's kind of Bizarre. seen this from a more global angle is, is Tamara. I mean, do you have any thoughts on this? Oh, I've got many. Yeah. Uh, I, I, God. What Brandon has said makes me sick to my stomach. My heart is beating out of my chest. I went to lunch with Brooks, and I told him if I found out you've ever <laughs> with Vicky or hurt her, touched her, stole her money, done anything to her, I would hurt you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And to hear that, my heart is. And I haven't done those. She hasn't hurt me. By hasn't the way. stole my money. Is there anything else that? Your mom needs to know, or we need to know, because I, I feel like Vicky is making excuses for you, and I feel I, like I she's getting defensive, and she, you're getting mad at Brianna because you don't want her to talk. And Vicky, you need, I see a weak, weak Vicky. I'm not weak. It's crying all the time since you've been with him. All you do is cry. Because I we have never I gotten have, to a fight until he because came Because I have remorse Me, over either. where Brianna my life never is got at. To a fight. I have remorse over where my life is at right now at 51. Look, my mother used to say to me, don't date people that are inappropriate for you because you can fall in love with anyone. Brooks, Absolutely. I don't know the truth of the story. I, I, you've always been great to me, but at the end of the day, you're hearing all this, maybe this isn't the right guy. I know. Not that he's a bad guy, but maybe not the right for one me. for you. Mm -hmm.
and I love you, I support you, but maybe it's time to move on. And that's why I cry. I care about this guy a How lot. How can you care about somebody who talks about your daughter that way? But if he's being that disrespectful to your daughter, Vic, like, and that's to you. not good. None of this hurts you? Oh, it hurts me, hugely. It hurts me. So I know it's embarrassing for him because I know he has remorse over it, and he can't change the past. He can't fix it. This is the only source of ick in my life. Yet, it seems like you and your mom, just through this whole thing, have a very close thing going with Troy she's, and... She's my best friend, and she's like my whole world, but how do you stand for somebody treating your best friend in the whole world like that? What do I do? Tell her that I support her, I love you, okay, but keep them away from me, and that's where we've been at for the last year. And if you want to be with somebody that treats you like that, then that's... I can't do anything about it anymore. I've tried to stick up for her and it backfired and so now I just gotta let her figure it out on her own. I'll just go live my own life. You have a lot of people around you who love you very much. You feel like you're in a crossroads in your life, but you're surrounded by a lot of love and support. I hate to see her crying because I, I, w I don't want you to not be with the person that you love. Brianna actually told me something that really is bothering me, is that she's seen text messages from him to you saying that you're fat, you're ugly, you're disgusting, nobody He's wants you. I have so never said that. You manipulate her. He's never sent me I've a thing that's manipulated her. Well, there's somebody, there's somebody else in your phone that's Brooks Ayers. What are you There's somebody else in your phone is Brooks Ayers then, because He's I've seen text that. messages He's tearing gorgeous. you down, totally tearing you down to build you back up. I've seen it. My body's amazing. Oh, okay. He's never said I'm fat. Why would I make any of this Why did you? Why is she saying that? Wow. You don't think I'm fat? Absolutely not. He doesn't, you don't think I'm ugly. No. He thinks I'm beautiful. 